Oh, hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to the evening stream. I'm going to be doing some more testing on the Phantom Forest by Stevie map, the version 2 of the, uh, the map. I'm going to add some mods this time because, quite frankly, I don't like the default vanilla in-game vehicles. It's so simple. Um, what mods to add? We've got quite a few, so it's going to take me a while. The Brooks, definitely. Big Brew, possibly. Bail Barn, I think. Might as well add all the big buds. Probably can't use them because of how of tiny and restrictive some of the uh, map is. Add some of these. Braid up. Hellos by Stevie, definitely. Case, case. Quad tracks by Stevie. Add all the tractors we can. Add any buildings. I'm going to add course play. Add pickups. Draper Terra flexes. Fire flexes. Farm trailers or farm trailer houses. Uh, let's go for the fence 300, fence 700, fence 1000. Add the fence weight pack. I'm not going to bother with the fill types. Animal transporter, I will add because I actually do quite like that. Go for the round bale, auto loader, and the square bale. Don't need the gas stations or anything because <clears throat> we've got those. Grass patch, I'm not sure. We will see. I'll add the Homer pack, the Homer tell this. Porsche Pronto. Bulk by Stevie, heavyweight, lifting tool thingy, I will add, because I need to um, retrieve some pallets of fertilizer from anyone who viewed the earlier stream that I did this afternoon. Um, yeah, I kind of had a bit of an issue with the um, fertilizer. I unloaded it in the most stupid of spots. <laughs> and it's all Stevie's fault. All Stevie's fault. I wanted to put lime in the bradle. You know, just 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 some lime. He was, you know, he was kind enough to give us, you know, a huge um, huge bradle full of um, <laughs> um fertilizer. But the first thing I needed on my um, farm after harvesting fields one and two was um, uh, lime. Two versions of that baler. I'll go with version 1.01. I must remember to try and delete that one at some point. Don't know why I've got two versions on it. But yeah, gonna add all Stevie's mods because Stevie makes the best mods for farming sim. This roller. Universal tank pack, most definitely. Not gonna add the Lamborghini because it's rubbish. Loads of front loaders. Load King will add. Add the Mahindra. Add the 
Man. Edo Roller. Module Express by Stevie. New Holland by Stevie. New Holland T8. The US edition. Um, palm pack. Don't think we're going to need palm trap. Placeable fill stations. I will add those. I don't know if I'll use them. I'm not going to add the Christmas tree, of course. That would be absolutely ridiculous. Placeable ramp. Possibly. Solar panels, maybe. Pottinger by Stevie, quite possibly. Power Flow by Stevie. Spotlights, Roadrunner, Rapid, Root Crop Storage. I'm not going to bother with Scarecrows. Scorpion King, possibly. Seed Runner, definitely. Uh, Cell Point 150, possibly add that just for selling stuff. For more mower stuff. Sara by Stevie. Um, Stroutman, Aperion. Add some weights, I don't know why. Terrados team. Unlocker. I'll add those. Timber runner wide with auto low wood. We'll go for that. I can add those. Cow edition, S series, S series by Stevie. T series, T series, Falcon T series. Don't need the dirt extension. Warrior by Stevie. Silver Star by Stevie. Paysetter by Stevie. Wind turbines by Stevie. I think that's it. I think that's all the mods I'm going to enable. That's a lot of mods, I accept. So probably going to be some errors when I start to load this. <laughs> course play might have a fit, of course. The course play beta. If it actually loads. Seem to load. Yes. No, we're not going to pay anybody wages. <laughs> Is the thing. Right, we've done that. Right. So we've got the thing in there. We can sleep when we get tired. Still got the car over here that we still can't drive. It's not a drivable car. Got the workshop obviously over here. Oh, we've got pressure washer here now. Door still doesn't open. <laughs> right. So, for anyone who caught the earlier stream, we have harvested field one and field two. Um, I've got some land available to us, so we're going to buy some land. We've got a bit of cash. That's too expensive. Three million. I've, I thought there was a little, there was a little field there. But apparently, that's linked into that huge area. Okay. 
So we'll, we'll, go, we'll go for field 10, 7, we'll add field 6. Right, so, phone big M. We'll probably sell that one and buy Stevie's. And right, we're going to uh, lower that down for a start. And we'll just hire the normal AI worker. I'm not going to bother doing a course play one at the moment. I want to see if the cultivator worker has the same issue that the um, harvester worker had. In the fact, it didn't like the edge of the field. But that's an AI issue. That's not a map issue. That's not a Stevie issue. That's just the stupid giants workers that exist in this game. Um, you. I need you. You've run out of fertilizer. So we need to go get some. And the best place to get fertilizer is from the farm supplies buy it from the farm supplies I haven't bothered feeding anything to the animals yet I haven't started doing all that malarkey <laughs> So I need some lime. So we come down here to get lime. And whilst I'm down here, I'm going to try and fix the... Um, do you know what? Actually, it's probably going to be quicker for me to tr fix because then I can actually take it and unload it. So we'll hop out of here for a second. Because earlier, because the bradle started full of fertilizer... And obviously I wanted to load it with lime to do the lime spreading. I thought I need to find some way of unloading the fertilizer. And I wanted to know if I could put it back into storage. If that was the thing. So I drove onto the um, silo and um, unloaded. It didn't sell the stuff, the fertilizer. I couldn't, you know overload it into the silo or anything but it did proceed to fill it put the pallets in these little areas here next to the silo tipping point which I couldn't get the tractor or the trailer into to um, refill it <laughs> and we'll hop back in so I'll now fill this up with the fertiliser pallets to get them out of the way and cleared up. Thousand litres. I don't normally faff about with pallets. Like I say, we will end up going down to the store. And I'm going to buy a lot more tractors <laughs> and equipment to have a whirl with on this map. Right, so that's all the pallets that I unloaded. Now I've got to remember where was I when I unloaded them? Oh, I think I was probably I was, I was down here and again to correct the earlier video and to correct from the um, um, the f uh, version 1 first look mod map thing I did on YouTube the first look mod, mod look the bales 
in this shed, I do believe, can now be used. I think he's made these usable. Um, so you can actually give them to your um, animals and stuff like that. They are real bales now. The other ones that are dotted around the farm are not. They are just purely for decoration. Um, right. Let me think about this. Garage. Right. We are going to... Sell that. Sell that. I'm going to sell uh, that. Can't sell that because I'm using it. I can sell that. All that. I can't sell that because I'm using it. I will. Sell that. That. So I've got a bunch of weight, Agco weights. They must be on the fence. Um, like I say, we have uh, right. Uh, first of all, trucks. Do want the Rover or the Warrior or the Hulk? Uh, I'm trying to remember which truck is the best for pulling stuff let's make it orange this is what I went with in my Estancia playthrough so I went with one of those nice trailborg tyres Super grippy trail balls. We can fetch it from the store. Then we're going to want a trailer. And I really did like the. Which one was it? Was it the pay? I think it was the pay setter I preferred. Make that orange too. So it's easily visible. Whack the extensions on. That suddenly gets very expensive. But it's worth it for the capacity. Um, do I want the Agra liner? Because I know that's got a pretty decent capacity. Because I've modified it myself a bit. I apologise to Stevie if he's watching. But I have kind of modified some of his mods. A little bit. Just to make them a bit more appealing to myself. Um... Michelin's trail balls. So that goes up to 60,000, his version. How does that compare to the one we've got? 52,000, so it's a little bit bigger capacity. I'm going to buy one. In that case, then I'm not going to need that. I'm not going to need that for the time being. The tractors I'll keep because you can never have too many tractors. Is Stevie's crone any better? Right, so we want that, but we want to modify it a bit, don't we? I don't quite like the... I 
gonna make it look like one we had silver wheels and the metal wheels. So we'll crank one of them up. That'll do. Um That's hideous. Gold? Brown yellow? Ah, oh, that's just a normal wagon. That's not a um, loading wagon, is it? Don't get confused and buy the wrong things. ZX 560 is the loading wagon, so that would be down here somewhere if Stevie's done one, which I would assume he has. No, he hasn't. Um, he does the shoot maker. Extensions. We'll make that hundred thousand liters. Make a green color. That was changing the wheels. Didn't want to do that. Still green goes better with a forage wagon. Um, so I could probably get rid of that one now then. So that one. I need harvesters so let's go for we'll stick with the new holland because i didn't use that in my why is there no option for New Holland yellow. Guess it's got to be John Deere yellow then. We'll crank the horsepower up and we'll give it the the bee's knees when it comes to the uh, capacity. That purchased. I will also get. I now I did run the John Deere in my Estancia Lapacho Let's Play. Um, do I go for it again? Do I go for the ideal? Put the crawler track on it. The thing I didn't like about it was the pipe. When it pipes out, it's that pipe is massively long. <laughs> right, um We got headers somewhere, haven't we? Have I sold them both? I've probably sold them both. Yep, yeah, good, right. Uh headers.
don't like those. Oh, it's either the Draper, my case, or the New Holland Draper. We'll have a New Holland Draper for... the New Holland Tractor. I'll we'll change that up and make it New Holland Blue. <laughs> Buy one of them for the New Holland. And then we'll get the Draper Terraflex 45 foot header. Colour will do it. Main colour, John Deere Green. I know it says case on the side and all the John Deere purists out there will probably go nuts. But I prefer the headers with the inbuilt trailer as opposed to these ones which don't have trailers and require you to buy a separate header trailer to whack them onto if you want to transport them around the map. So I wouldn't buy that one for the simple reason it doesn't have its doesn't have a trailer built in. Uh, corn headers. We're going to need two of those. First one we're going to get is going to be for the New Holland. We're going to get one for the on there. Like so. We probably need to move some of this stuff down. Oh, it's night time. Okay, fair enough. Uh, you've lost your trailer. Now I'm going to forget what I've bought. Uh, that's the loading wagon. Which I've got a feeling we were actually using. Alright, we'll go get the Aperion then. Not so good. <laughs> I've just realised I probably had that quite loaded up with um straw. Halfway through collecting field two. Oh well. I wish the headlights on these vehicles would shine out a bit further. And that's not, again, nothing to do with the map or Stevie. It's just something I find with the game as a whole. They're really bad. You don't get any distance on headlights. All right, so let's have a quick whiz down to the store. I can bring, obviously, the... Uh, um, the two corn headers back on the harvesters on the, on the front. I can tow the trailers behind. Again, isn't a problem. Hey, steady on. We've got plenty of fields to be going out now. Are the shed still down here? Field three, I can't remember. Or has he removed them? No, it looks like they're still there. Yeah, they are. That's good. Door. Oh. That's the spinner, mate. I've missed it, haven't I? It's there. 
sorry cars, I've got to turn around. I don't quite know the map yet. Off the back of my hand. Still not used to the traffic driving the wrong way around the map on the in the wrong on the wrong side of the road. Come on, move. Lots of vehicles in the sheds. None of which are actually mine. You require the Stroutman. Let me just move this out of here a bit. I can't see. Camera's too close. There's any cars coming? Tough luck, because I'm going to leave it there for the minute. <laughs> While I try and sort out some of this other stuff. That header's not in the best place. The John Deere one. Why is the store put it there? Does it run out of space down here? Looks that way. Um... No, I didn't want the John Deere. I wanted to get in the... Um... Ah! That's in trouble. No, I still don't want to be in the John Deere. I want to be in this one. Yeah. Alright, well, let's go pick up the corn header, first of all. That's that picked up then. And then we can take the trailer with us as well. At least I hope I could take the trailer with me. Got to remember to fold up the uh, straw swath. Try and line that up a bit better. Right, I'll do. <laughs> You're in trouble now, little car. <laughs> um, right, so we're going to have to come back. <laughs> I'm quite happy blocking the road. We need to bring the other fent down now to pick up the... Was it fent I was using? Or was it the John Deere? Probably should have checked if there was any cars coming before just pulling out into the middle of a roundabout. Just because these are lot drive on the wrong side of the road doesn't mean I should lower my driving standards. this back we'll park it on the silo because then we know where it is for when we need it and this is purely for unloading harvesters in the field although I'm thinking about it now now I've got two harvesters I probably need two of these and we'll look at getting some tools in a bit as well You know, plows, cultivators, new cedars, because obviously I don't have any of those at the minute. I certainly don't have a plow. 
because the cruelty plow you start with doesn't plow the, in the giants in-game one doesn't plow i think stevie fixed it in his version of the cruelty plow so it actually does give you the proper um plow effect on the field plowed status and um and the plowed texture if i remember rightly if not then it's another one in the pack in the um the other pack that i got the subsoiler pack that does it Might have to, he's got some lights in here but they're not all that bright do yeah. some here to light up the fill points down here We've got, at least we've got lights in the mower sheds, in the, sh the shed, easy sheds. New Holland. You're the lizard. Don't think you can go anywhere, can you? That head is really not very helpful. Not very helpful of the store to place that there. Bump it out of the way a bit. Make it a bit easier for Mr. John Deere in a few minutes to pick that up. Right, that's hooked up. Uh, that's, that's, that's. Tell you what, even this header folded is going to be a bit tricky, I think. Let's put some beacons on. Let's warn the um, AI that we are. Don't drive into me with your cement truck, mate. Not useful. I do like the fact that these little poles on the sides of the roads don't have collisions but the roundabout might have signs that have collisions so let's be extra careful and the lampposts I definitely know have collisions from my um, early first look map review thing first look map tour video which is on my youtube channel which if you didn't know is posted in the chat for you to follow to go to and subscribe there's a, a whole variety of stuff on that channel that i've played in the past and i'm playing currently it's not all farming sim simulatory if you're not into farming sim but then if you weren't into farming sim I don't know why you'd be watching this live stream. <laughs> Unless you're just a big fan of me. Which, if you are, thank you very much. Thank you very much for being a huge fan. <laughs> now, like I say, it's just a case at the minute of moving all the equipment down to where I need it to be. <sighs> yeah, that cement mixer hasn't helped matters. Oh dear. That was bad. Yeah, these roads are a little bit narrow. I think I'm going to have a bit of trouble getting things like the big buds down here. Right, we've made it back to the farm with one harvester. Woohoo! Ah, no, don't, 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 don't go down there. Can't get out. Go this way. Spin around.
can't remember where all the sheds are. <laughs> That's the hay shed. Harvesters in here. I've decided. Right, you will now be able to pick up that header. Chink. This could have all been made so much easier, I've just realised, had I... What have I done? Disconnected the front bit. Please tell me John Deere can... Um Head a trailer, please. Please, game. Please, game. Yes. Although I think it's pretty tight, I don't think there's a lot of room back there, a lot of clearance. That's pretty much why I, I've bought all the fields quite close to the farm. Because I don't really fancy transporting. I mean, obviously, if you was doing a, a wheat harvest or a, you know, oat harvest, barley harvest, canola harvest, that sort of thing, um, you wouldn't have to worry about the fact that you've got a corn header on the front of the harvester. So it probably would be easier to um, drive the stuff around the map. Because you'd just be towing this, you wouldn't have anything on the front of it. Worry about. Get this back to the, the old farm. I need to get the bradle out doing the lime spreading. If I overtake you, I can, because I'm faster. That's right. Looking for the Fenton Forest farm sign. Should be just past this little house on the, this little barney shed thing on the left. And then we're in here where it's super, super dark. Not much brighter when you go into first person, is it? <laughs> Yeah, if there's any other mod makers out there for um, Farming Simulator 19 who want a suggestion for a mod, would we have a mod that makes the headlights, the headlight distance on vehicles go a lot further, please? <laughs> I would love that. Because normally, like I say, when I did my... I, 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 I never farmed at night in my Estancia series. My, my whole series let's play that I did on the Estancia map I never did any night farming because you just can't see what you did you, I can't see what I'm doing so how you guys out there watching can see what I'm doing I don't know right you're there you have finished ploughing and you ploughed actually okay what we're gonna do 
is we are going to sell that. The bra my, br my current bradle is... Is it empty? Or did I fill it with lime? I can't remember now. Right, subsoilers. Let's have a look first of all. So there's one. One of the moddy ones. There's Stevie's one. We will... Buy it. I will also buy the big 15 meter jobby. It's a shame you can't change the colour on that though. All tiny poxy little things. I don't think we've got any massive power harrows yet. Four meters seems to be the, the maximum limit on paro harrows. Um, we could do with some bigger ones, really. All these things we could do with slightly bigger ones, you know? That's, I mean, that's only six meters, that Bentner. And we've got these things. Which again, four meters, it's just a little bit, they're a little bit small, I find. Um, now, do I go with the, the, the Con Metris by Stevie? Cedars. Isn't it? Uh, what are we looking for cedar wise? Uh, cedars. We had. We started with one of those. Stevie was kind enough to give us one of those. He doesn't do her. He's not done her. Condor then. In which case, I will take the Great Plains. Because the Estrala misses bits at the front of the field and at the end of the field. There's something wrong with... And that's not not, not Stevie's Estrala. That's the in-game one as well. Has issues. The, the Again, when you're using a worker, they tend to stop at funny places so they don't quite fertilise the field properly. But for the sake of all things, I will have a Stara. And I'll have the extensions for it. <laughs> Why not? I'll have a couple of cedars, cultivators. We've got a couple of ploughs. Haven't we? 
cultivators I can come back for. Probably one of them. I wish I'd made a list now. <laughs> of all the equipment. So I know what I've sold and what I need to replace. I don't want you driving around the map at 20 miles an hour, mate, but some of us have got a store to get to. Do some late night shopping and purchasing. So I'm going to pick up... What did I come down here for? The cultivator, wasn't it? Definitely need to buy more tractors. <laughs> Turn left in a second then. I love how he's decorated the store though that's one of the things i do like about the map how the store actually looks like a a, a kind of equipment store um sworn I bought a cultivator I did it's hit hiding back there it's <laughs> one way to move a truck out of the way I suppose right we'll take this back to the farm the only reason again why I've switched to the pace setter is A because st stop driving into me it is because A I like the capacity on it and I had good ex um, good experience with it on my Estancia Let's Play series um, at the end the pace setter was definitely better than the distinction for me in the end um, but also because uh let's find it that trailer i think it was that one isn't it that was the one he, he gave us to start with or was it that one i can't i think i can't remember now but whichever one of these he gave, gave you to gave you to start with i think it's that one because it doesn't just open up the back when it tips the actual trailer lifts up when the trailer lifts up on a couple of the um, cell points, I did notice it collided, especially in the stream I did earlier when I went to Port Northwest. When the trailer lift up, it hit the the like the, the thing that overhung the porch over the top of the cell point. I mean, it didn't do any damage or anything, and obviously it didn't really cause any problem. It just didn't look the great. The truck sort of bouncing and that as the uh, trailer lifted and clipped through the uh, porch. That's why I, I prefer these, because then these tip out the bottom. These have the hoppers on the bottom. Although that can work against you as well. If you've got a uh, narrow uh, or a short fill point, because you can't unload, you have to sort of creep, move to get the front and rear tip points. 
And if it's if you you like the bakery on the Estancia map, you have a bit of difficulty reversing far enough back onto that tip point to be able to trigger the front unload. One of the reasons why um, I tended to just deliver to the harbour a lot in that playthrough. Once I'd, I'd bought one of these because I'm not very good at reversing trailers. <laughs> but these are good because these have got fixed axles. Honestly, fixed rear axle jobbies. I don't like the trailers with the, the twisty axles on the front. I tend to avoid them like the plague. Because I can't reverse those or manoeuvre them wherever where I want them. No matter how long I spend and how many swear words I, you know, release. <laughs> right, we're not going down there. I think I'm screwed now. Because I think to get to that side, I've realistically... I've got to remember to turn off at the... Um, herbicide tank and slurry manure cell point thingy oh, so that's under there that can fill perfect mr fent you should now be able to get to your cultivator One thing I, I do wonder is how many people are going to come down here and try and get in these vehicles. <laughs> it's like, can I steal it? Can I joyride these vehicles? Especially this one in here. Because I have a tendency to drive vehicles into places like this, especially if I've leased them. Oh, okay, that's a uh, picture. For a minute there, I thought, oh, we've got a floating model. But it's a decal. back to the farm with this we still need to come up with the loading wagon um, come pick the loading wagon up so it must be the John Deere I must have had the John Deere on the loading wagon and I think I've probably just got rid of nearly a full load of straw by selling it while it was full or partly full because I was in the process of straw collecting on field um, two. I'm trying to remember what the field was. It was field two. Although, to be fair, bringing that John Deere back all the way back to people. I've got to do it because I've got all them other things to do, them cedars. Need some more tractors. I'm going to buy tractors. Help bring those cedars, stroke cultivators. Oh, this isn't good. Avoid head on collisions with the AI. I think one of the things I would do on this map if I was doing a like a let's play series or doing a proper playthrough um, in time starting out where we have down here um, and obviously we've got field 2 here field 1 and we've got field 3 and field 5 what I would be tempted to do is somewhere along hit this road here maybe I know there's a thingy in and out there but maybe along here somewhere is put in a road to field two and easy easy so you haven't got to keep tra trailing all the way along here 
and this way to get to these fields could have little roadways off into the field from here I'd have to tech out some trees you would do that um, but you can chop trees down quite nicely yeah so he's parked in there Yeah. Righto. So the bradle is empty. We know that because there's all the fertilizer. And yeah, I was in the pro. I so I probably, I probably sold all the um. So I probably didn't lose any. So he can go collect the loading wagon. Pull the lights on. So I've got to go fetch me dinner quickly in a second. Hope people don't mind me eating whilst we're playing. Or attempting to play the game. Do some testing. I'll just be a second then, I'll just nip fetch that and I'll be back in a second, so... 